So, Secret Invasion, the final episode, the finale. Honestly, this episode is probably the best version of this entire show. You know, when it just comes to, like, the acting, when it comes to the, um, even, like, the cinematography yet again. Um, I feel like this episode is what the Secret Invasion show should have been. You know, it's a lot more action-oriented and involves a lot more superhero-relevant, um, scenes. You know, it involves more questions, you know, more mystery, more intrigue. Overall, you get a better feel for the show, you know? Like, the entire show so far, it wasn't particularly terrible, but it was just mid- and even like with the with the episode prior that I uh, talked about where uh, Nick Fury gets thoroughly cucked by the MCU, excuse me, MCU, uh, it was still like a better version of the show overall as far as like this episode. Like seriously, comparatively to the entire show, the finale was the only episode I could say that was enjoyable all the way through. Like it had even some good heart to heart moments. Like it had some good emotion and some impact. You know, you see why Gravik feels the way he feels. Even though, in my opinion, you can't blame another man for your F-ups. If you didn't want to take a life, you shouldn't have taken the life. Like, Gravik had this whole speech about, how, oh, you don't recognize this skin. And at first, I wholeheartedly thought, I'm not going to lie to you. And you know what? It's not fair for me to judge it. But can you blame me with how this show was, like, pushing racial politics? I thought the entire time, Gravik was going to get into, like, oh, this skin is my skin now, Fury. I share what you share. You know, like, shit like that. But no, he was like, oh, no. This was the first person I killed for you. Like, he looked at Nick Fury as, like, a, a mentor figure, what he wanted to be. You know, uh, this tough, um, you know, tough as nails, get things done the hard way type of character. You know, he wanted to emulate that, you know, until he realized that Nick Fury wasn't the man that he thought he was, you know, and it led to Talos' death, even though, again, you killed him, my G. And then, um, come to find out, <laughs> it wasn't even Nick Fury this entire time. Like, realistically, though, like, what would, like, uh, what would he do? Like, uh, like, realistically, though, like, uh, if Nick Fury was to be in that same machine and it went off and it gave him powers... Would that have worked? Or is it only mapped the scroll DNA and would it have just um, offed them? Because to be fair, like um, the radiation in that area alone is just like not enough for Nick Fury to survive in. So yeah, obviously. So I did like how uh, Nick Fury, excuse me, Samuel Jackson was playing the role in this scene, even though it wasn't really him. It was Gaia. We know, we know. But still, I enjoyed the performance. I really did. I like, uh, the, even the, the speech alone, even though I didn't, like, um, I didn't exactly rock with the dialogue per se, the performance and the delivery itself was amazing. Like, I really did enjoy um, the actor who plays Gravik. Like, throughout the entire show, he's been, like, uh, the most interesting part of it. You know, he's been the most charismatic. He's been the most interesting, at least as far as, like, um, again, just his overall, like, vibe. Even though he is just basically killmonger light. You know what I mean? Um... So other than that, I do think uh, the show itself, it just gets a solid like 5.5. Like, again, I want to be fair. I don't want to say it's terrible. But at the same time, it's just not the greatest. Comparatively to like WandaVision, even the other like bottom tier shows, this was just like barely scratching above making even for my taste anyway. Because like it just feels like, yeah, not my secret invasion still. It's good for what it wants to do. But overall, it's just not that good. It's just not all that compelling. You know what I mean? Uh, the Super Scrolls are fine. You know, I think it's cool. Uh, personally, I, I really do. I think the Super Scrolls are an interesting idea. I kind of like the CGI when it comes to Super Scroll graphic. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, he looks cool. <laughs> they gave a lot of cameos to a lot of the powers. And is it really that easy to replicate superheroes' powers? Are you kidding me? Like, are you actually serious right now? Is that easy? It's literally that easy? Just get a, a, a vial of, like, coded DNA sequences, and that's it? Like, that is insane. That is insane. Like, bro, I, I'm getting really tired of the MCU. Like, it used to be, like, superheroes got their powers by luck and by happenstance. It was never this easy to replicate it. But if you could just literally just replicate their DNA, replicate their powers, that simplistically is insane to me. Like, keep in mind, Carol Danvers had to get exposed to, like, the radiation from the Tesseract, i.e. one of the stones. So it's just crazy to me how the powers are just so easily replicated, like down to a T and like, bro, and you could argue, oh, alien technology. Sure. Fine. But they had no resources to alien technology. 
But at the end of the day, I can't really judge because like Tony Stark was able to build his first suit in a cave with a box of scraps. So you know what? I can let it slide personally. Like it's not so much that it's unbelievable. It's the fact that, bro, that's crazy. Like that much DNA on top of the gamma radiation of Hulk's DNA. Like, you know what I'm saying? It makes sense for the scrolls why they survive. It's just like I have a lot of questions. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, when it comes to the Nick Fury, Priscilla stuff, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Whatever, personally. Like, it's literally just whatever to me. Why do you? I'm not made of stone. You know, I I'm not a cold hearted man. I'm not so jaded to like this shitty MCU of what we've been getting as of late. So I can't appreciate a good story of love and coming together and a husband and wife just making it work. I'm not going to pretend like it didn't get me, you know? I'm not going to pretend like they're dynamic of their relationship wasn't the best part of the entire show i'm not going to pretend like that's not the case because i'm going to be real with you their relationship was the most enjoyable I'm not going to hold you like as far as like uh the acting again was great you have a lot of great actors in the show and i'm going to say this right now in the mcu the actors are really good but the script they're given the material they're given it just doesn't let their true talent show like if you give them a good script you can get any actor to do wonderful things on screen. So that's why I'm saying, like, I don't want people to think that, like, oh, these actors are at fault for why it's bad. Besides Nick Fury and his stupid statements online when it comes to, you know, um, men and, you know, women and, you know, him white knighting. Aside from that, like, these actors are really good at what they do. You understand? Like, they're good. Other than that, um, if I had to rank this episode, personally, it just gets a 7 out of 10. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's good. But it didn't leave much. Also, uh, I forgot to mention the whole Gaia and um, um, British, you know, podcast watching watching lady. You know, she they had a little scene talking about some. Oh no, I mean at least they're honest. You know, they're just gonna use them. And but I don't like how they basically insinuate that men are more emotional when it comes to like, oh yeah yeah yeah, all that love and friendship stuff. I'm gonna use you. Like that's what you expect Nick Fury and Talos to be like. But instead they give it to the females. You know, and uh, even then I think Gaia is a little too overpowered personally like she had literally the entire dna sequence of the entire avengers and then more so so like that's what i'm saying it's like it's a little bit much you know what i mean like it's gonna be hard to tell a story with these characters when she could just fly in as her own people's version of captain marvel it just i, I could just hear the comments now oh misogyny you don't want to see a powerful woman like no i don't give a no for the sake of the continuation of the mcu this is going to be hard to tell the comparing story with anything literally there's a reason why hulk just fights different versions of himself you know or just really amped versions of other types of people who have different like gimmicks because he's so overwhelmingly powerful that it's hard to really give him a threat you know same with like uh, other characters in general like superman he fights freaking planet busters on a daily he fights like warmongers on a daily like, what are we doing here? Speaking of, I will be doing a video on War World. In fact, it will be my very next video. I have a lot to say about it, and it will be coming out after this video drops. I promise. Because there was a comment that said, hey, could you talk about this? Yes, I will talk about it. I will. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. I got to do some dishes.